Now, we know that how to create a variable and store value in it and we also understand how to store expression in the variable. Now, we know that variables are store values and expressions. You always need to specify value to the variable. As a developer, you specify value to the variable what you want. But in the real world, we get the value from the user. We cannot predict what values user will supply to the program. Now, let's take a look at the very useful function in Python, which is input. Input function actually get the input from the user. Here, as you can notice, I'm going to specify the values to these variables. Instead of storing the values, I'm going to get the values from the user. So, I'm going to get rid of this 5 right from here and call a PHP input function. So, I'm going to say here input. To call a function, you need to specify the label of the function and then specify parentheses. In this parentheses, you can pass values to the function so the function can manipulate it. Now, in the parentheses, I'm going to just specify double code and say x values. And then I'm going to get rid of this 5 and say input. In the double code, I'm going to say y value, just like this. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just execute this statement. I'm going to just click on this run button. Now, when I execute this statement, I'm going to have this x value label here. So now what you need to do is you need to specify value to this x variable. So for now, I'm going to specify 10, press enter. This will just ask me to specify value to the y variable as well. I'm going to specify value to this y variable. I'm going to say here 5. When I press enter again, you're going to get an error message because when you specify value to the input function, it's going to get the value as a type string. So you need to first convert this value and then print it. To understand type, let's take a look at a very simple example. Here I'm going to create a variable z is equal to and specify string value to it. And I'm going to say here string type. Now this variable is a type of string. You cannot multiply it with numbers. For example, if I just create here another variable p is equal to, then this is going to be the type of number. You cannot multiply number with string. If you do that, you're going to get unexpected result. So as you can notice here, this is a type of string. So when you get the input from the user, we'll consider this number as a string. So you need to first convert these numbers and then multiply it. So when you try to multiply strings, you're going to get an error message. So let me just convert these numbers. You just need to call a function int and specify these variables in the parentheses, just like this. So now when you get these numbers, I'm going to convert it into integer and then multiply it. And I'm going to store the result in this result variable and print it. So when I execute this statement, I'm going to have the value. I'm going to say here 10, y value is going to be 5. When I press enter, I'm going to have 50. It's going to multiply 10 by 5. So this is how you can get the values from the user. Let's take a look at one more example. I'm going to get rid of this statement. I'm going to just print my name and age using input function. So I'm going to just say here name is equal to and call input function. And in the double code, I'm going to specify, hey, what is your name? And then I'm going to get the age of the user. So I'm going to create a variable age is equal to call the input function to get the value from the user. In the double code, we're going to pass and how old are you? Just out of that, I'm going to just print these values, age and number. So down here, I'm going to just say print and in the double code, we're going to pass hello your name is and then we're going to print the name of the user so now what we need to do is we need to concatenate the value with the string we need to concatenate the value of this variable with the string to concatenate value we're going to specify plus operator as you know plus operator add two values so if i just here name this plus operator will concatenate this string with this value just for that i'm going to specify here plus again to concatenate the next string so in the double code i'm going to say and you are then specify plus operator again and specify age specify plus operator again and concatenate years old when i execute this statement this statement will going to ask you to enter your name so i'm going to just specify here daily tuition when i press enter this will ask you how old are you 25 when i press enter i'm going to have a message hello your name is daily tuition and you are 25 years old. So using input statement, you can get the value from the user very easily. Now, this is just a basic understanding of input function. For an exercise, use the input function 
to get the first and the last name of the user and print using this print statement. In the next lecture, we'll talk about what is functions.